We're getting pretty close to having some of our transplant crop ready to go into the hydroponic greenhouse. Lonnie, how are things coming along? Pretty good, Bob. It looks like we're just about ready to start planting some of these. This is Leilani Davis, who manages the hydroponic greenhouse pro program here at the North Florida Research and Education Center. And she's going to tell us a little bit about some of the things that she's looking for when we decide as to whether a transplant is healthy and ready to go into the greenhouse. Uh, Lonnie, what, what, are you, what are you looking for in some of these to determine that? Well, uh, what we have here is a kind of a, a broad area of different types of greens. We've got some of our lettuces, um, which are usually ready, or lettuces and greens, usually ready around four or five weeks from the time that we sow. Um, tomatoes, maybe peppers would be maybe about uh, four to six weeks. And uh, some of our things like the cucumbers and squash would actually be three weeks. So I'm looking at things that uh, really should be ready around this time. Uh, we actually use little stakes for our varieties and actually put the date that we sow them so we can kind of keep track of uh, whether they're doing what we believe they should be doing or not. So. Good. I mean, these look to me to be beautiful looking transplants. There's a lot of different colors of greens and things in here, some of the different colored basil. Um, what kinds of things are you looking for to determine if a transplant is, is, is really a, a healthy looking transplant? What, what, what kinds of characteristics are we looking for? Well, um, we're actually looking for a good sturdy plant, one that has good color and strong stems. Uh, and then we're looking at the root system, which is real important on the transplants. We pulled a few samples over here. You can see that we have two different sizes. Uh, we tend to use cucumbers and squash, things that grow real fast in our larger uh, uh, one and a half inch. And then in the uh, one inch where we really grow a lot of our stuff, um, you can see that we have a real good root system on the, on the uh, cucumbers. We have an oriental green here that's not quite as, as full as the cucumbers, but still you can see a nice white uh, fibrous root that wraps around. Uh, we have our basil and tomatoes. Still you can see a lot more root system in here and these are really perfect. We want to get these in right away. We don't want it to be too much more thicker. Uh, and then we have our tomatoes. Again, you can see the nice roots at the bottom uh, and how the stem is nice and, and happy here. A little less uh, fiber here. We could probably hold off a couple of days, but we could go ahead and plant those right away. So these would be, these plants here with this really well-developed root system, tying up the media is important when we go into our hydroponic system. So these would probably be ready to go, but maybe the tomatoes we're going to look to hold off on them for a few more days. A few more days, yes. And I know, Lonnie, that in the, in the floating systems, mm -hmm. that tying in this media is really important. If we, if we went into a floating basket in our, in our floating systems with something like this, the media is going to disintegrate and go away. So it's especially important there. You might be able to get away with an early transplant in some of our bag culture and mm -hmm. other systems, but the floating ones really require them to be tied in well together. And then down on this end here, these are some of the things that you've pulled out here where some, what, what you might expect if you pull out a little bit early. Is exactly. that what happens there? Yeah, we've had some issues. These are definitely early. These actually haven't made it to where the root system was strong enough at the bottom that when we pulled them, obviously we lost the bottom here. Uh, so we know that this is not quite, you know, we need to leave that alone a little longer. And then on these other ones, even though you see a nice white root here, it's still not quite enough. You've got a real small plant. Uh, we probably need an, at least another week. Our arugula here, you can see that you can't even see. You can see some white fiber, so the roots are healthy. But we de definitely need a little more time. So if you, if you were really pressed and you had to get something like this on the little bit early side, uh, how, how, how could you help yourself in getting that out without tearing it like this? Because I assume that once we get to this point here, we've put the plant at risk. It right. may or may not make it. Right. So how, how could you use that device? We actually um, have found a small device. This is actually a cocktail fork that we enjoy using for de several different things. Um, these could be planted in the perlite or the peat mix because you have a nice solid. We could never plant that in a floating system. But when you, we want to get it out, and it's a little on the small side, we actually take something to stick down into the cell, and it actually pulls it out, whether it has a good full root system or not. So it really helps us a great deal to do that. And without that assistance, we'd never be able to get those, those plants out. So if some are a little further behind and we're ready to go with the majority of them, we can assist in getting those last ones out so that we can get the whole crop planted at, at, at one time. Exactly. 
Lonnie, it looks like we're going to have an excellent crop here. I know that it's very important to start out with a healthy, disease-free transplant, and I'm excited about what this is going to look like in a few weeks with these excellent transplants that you've produced here for the demonstration. Thank you.